And I wanted to show you what I was wearing today at the Georgia Renaissance Festival. Um, my traditional top here, and then my vest that I wear, and I've also got my Irish penny, which I belong to the Irish penny group, and because I'm part Irish as well, and Scottish. Then of course, uh, some of my ornaments too, uh, Scottish ornaments here, my beret, with some more of my adornments and feather, and also the uh, kilt, of course, and then my leather sporn that I wear, and then also my leather custom boots that I had made from Catskill moccasins from uh, when they're at the uh, Carolina Renaissance Festival. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. It's very easy to wear, throw on, walk around in, and uh, have fun. And we are here at the Georgia Renaissance Festival. Yeah, in the town is Newcastle. So this should be a lot of fun. They've been here, this year's their 38th year. People are slowly coming in. I do love the parking here. It's really well organized. Kind of give you a quick shot of everything. Very nice. I love all the shields and the crests along the uh, fencing here that you walk down this pathway to go to the entrance of uh, Newcastle. And today is Barbarian Day, so you can see a lot of Vikings and Barbarians. And parking is slowly filling up. And I look forward to this. My first time to the Georgia Renaissance Festival. And here's the entrance right here. The crowds are picking up. And they'll have like a pre-show too. We'll check that out. Enter, enter. So make sure you cross this bridge when you get in. So this should be a lot of fun. And there's other characters out here to greet you too as you come in. So as you wait over here too at the entrance, just to let you know, they do have privies right here in case you gotta go. It's right there. Also to let you know too, they do have Bell Rose costumes for rent right here too. And also wagons for rent. And you got strollers and wheelchairs over here. So that, that's right uh, at the front too. There's your ticket booth right there. Eat, drink, and be merry. Huzzah. So I love the entryway here, it's beautiful. Yeah, this is great, love the towers. And the crossing over the top of the gate as you go in. Slowly but surely, people are getting here. And I also like the fact that this gentleman walks around and he will pre-peace tie your weapons. So that's pretty awesome. I wish other fairs would do that. And the ticket booth has opened. So everybody's lined up getting their tickets here. But I do recommend doing it ahead of time. Get it online. And I will have the uh, link so you can get your tickets online. And just they'll scan your phone and you get right in.
Okay, see you bleeding, son. All right, uh, they're, they're really early. No mention of pirates, son. And we are inside Newcastle. Here it is. I love the water feature here. This is beautiful. Uh, you have to walk around and tour this entire town of Newcastle. I love the frogs playing the instruments. That's great. And everybody's piling in here. Check it out. This should be a lot of fun. You'll get in pretty quick too. They're scanning your phone if you have your ticket already. Pretty pretty quick. So. I want to show you all these lovely buildings too. Just the theming is amazing here. And look at the woods. I love the gravel too. <laughs> it keeps the mud and dirt down, that's for sure. Georgia has done such a great job here. So, and I love all Ren Fairs, don't get me wrong. But yeah, they've been doing it for so long. They've pretty much uh, learned from all their past that make it much better every year. So, so great. And you got the uh, vendors here telling you, come see their goods. So, how you doing? I am doing well about yourself. I'm doing great, sir. Ooh, have you been mooned this morning? Have been what? Have you been mooned this morning? Yeah. On camera? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how you I'm doing? You, sir. <laughs> Everybody's so nice here, too. It's awesome. But, uh, yeah, look at this. I'm going to show you the goods, too. Uh, the Enchanted Shire. We've also got this, uh, this Global Scent Company's right here. We'll take you inside. I do want to show you all the different... Uh, vendors because you all wanted me to go inside each store so you can see all their goods and uh, it would take so long to uh, cover each one too but uh, you get an idea of all the wonderful stores that you're gonna see here of course all your scents and your smell good stuff are right here in the scent company I love these holders too for your scent I mean I'm gonna take you every place so it's my first time here. I do want to explore everything too. And this is an Enchanted Shire. Check the little bench out. That's cool. Yeah, they have all kinds of neat goods. Get bags here, scarves, tabletops, chests, boxes, mugs, daggers. Yeah, look at all this. And again, I'm just going to skim over each store, but give you an idea of what each one has. Look at the tree topping here. All the shade you'll get to. It's cloudy today, so it won't be too, too hot. And I love the hats. Yeah, here are all your hats here. You know, all the wizard hats. I got to get Connie something while I'm here for sure. She unfortunately couldn't come with me. But look at all these wonderful wizard hats and that cool Viking hat there too. Hats with horns. Steampunk hats. Good morning. How you doing? <laughs> Get goggles too for your outfit. You got your pirate hats too. So don't forget those. Oh, they got umbrellas too. The bamboo ones as well. And fans. This should be a lot of fun. Plenty of eating areas too. Look at this. Get your coffee here. You don't let Dole Whip here too. <laughs> they do have Dole Whip. So. 
yeah, coffee, coffee, coffee. Love my coffee. They also get desserts. So and this is the brood awakenings. Hello. How are you? Yes, I do. I will be there in just a minute for sure. <laughs> yeah, iced tea too and raspberry tea. Got your shields for the kids. Got the wooden swords, the foam swords. Look at this. This is amazing. It's been here 38 years, and I've never been, which is crazy. But I will, I will be returning. Connie will be with me next time we come, because she'll love this. Yeah, Newcastle is amazing. Look at that. This is Crimson Moon right here. Take a look inside there as well. Hopefully, you'll pick it up. It's kind of dark. Oh, earrings. All kinds of jewelry here. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, really nice store. And it smells like they put new wood in. Yeah, they, uh, they put a new floor in. You can smell the wood. It smells great. I love their little displays here, too. The window displays. Got tiaras, crowns, all kinds of necklaces. And this is traveling leather. Good morning. Got your leather bags here, too. Name tags, belts. Oh, check these out. These are pretty cool. Very different right here. That's really, really nice. And they all hand make it right here. Oh, get more belts out. Oh, that's great. Oh, nice. Great. So lots to choose from. Also, for your hold your mugs. And also hold your weapons. All kinds of cool stuff in here, for sure. And different lengths of belts you can have. Also the engravings on each of the belts. And they hand do them as well. Uh, and look at the giant horse. Horses by Castadiva right here. They all kinds of different colors, different shapes, corsets. Yeah, this one would be a store for Connie to check out for sure. <laughs> Very nice. And this is Earth Elements right here. Hey, yeah, check out these statues. Kind of the Buddha, different styles of Buddha statues. So you get, uh, there's Ted. <laughs> you also have uh, gnomes, all kinds of different ones. Dogs, cats. These are beautiful. I love them. You got little gnomes up there, too. And you got different signs here, too. Oh, I love these, too. You got the Leaf Man, different versions. There's a French and Green Man there. The star green man, round green man. Yeah, really cool. They also have incense here, too. Yeah, this is a really, really nice store. And there's Harry. And Harry's $48. He's definitely a special skeleton right there. And here's the village pottery right here. Yeah, he always has really nice stuff for your yard, for your gardens. Yeah, really nice. And then here is flying cloud corsets and fine clothing. Look at the, look at the colors. Beautiful. Kinds of socks there too. I'm gonna have to go through the socks. Always buy socks. Oh, look at this one. I love this green one over here. This is really nice. I think Connie would like that one too. Love the ruffles. Good day. Wonderful store. Great. So yeah, I talked to a few of the people that work in here too. Really, really nice people. And uh, be sure to check out the uh, flying cloud courses and fine clothing. They both, they've got men, women, and children, so they got an array, an assortment of cool costumes and clothing. Yeah, great store. And I love this canopy of trees. Look at all of the seating area here, too, for food. I mean, they've got them placed kind of strategically all over the place in the fair. And the cool thing, it's like a big circle. It's not like you have to go one side or the other. You literally can, it's a huge area where everything's together. You don't have to, like, go one side to the other. And uh, don't worry about, oh, i got to walk all the way over here, you know. Here, you can actually, it's there. So if you, you'll see it, you'll go right to it. Here's the green jack sundries over here. And the puzzle rings, you know the puzzle rings, the magic rings. And I love the, uh, just the way these uh, vendors are set up. It's beautiful all through here. And they're all under a canopy of trees. Look at the gnome doors there. Put next to your tree. You'll get rune readings too, so you're going to have a, palmistry here you can have astrology here and uh runes tarot cards so they're all set up around here too and what i love about this and these trees here see the little stands you can sit here and have your beer or whatever drink you have set your stuff down and enjoy your food and drink 
that's really nice those kind of spread out too and here is their old town food they've got an array an assortment of foods too just tons of different choices that you can have like you know of course your turkey legs the king's weenie is right here too chicken sandwich you get tacos nice and also desserts over here and different in different beverages and, and of course it, it's like state burritos quesadillas state tacos belgian waffles bread pudding funnel fries yeah food looks super nice and i do recognize a few of the people here too from some of the other festivals i've been to here's a wine and boot here's a wine and beer area of course your atm make sure you bring your cash because eventually these lines will be very long I'm not sure how many ATM machines they have. They might have a bunch scattered about, so it might not be too hard. Look at this. This is beautiful. You really feel like you're going back in time when you're here at the Georgia Renaissance Festival. Now, the one thing I noticed about this gazebo, look at the top. It looks just like a wizard hat. That is pretty cool. And a, the owl coming out the back. Yeah, I love this gazebo. And so far, I'm impressed by the setup. This is a beautiful Renaissance Festival. Uh, yeah, I, I do want to come back many times in the future. And this is mugged by Griffin Works Leather. Yeah, check all these different horn mugs. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Also got little potion bottles there too that you choose from. I love their stand. They do a great job. So they have an assortment. They also have flash too. And also uh, other mugs. Not just the horn mugs, but the regular mugs as well to hold your beverage. And this is historical glass work. So if you want to sit down and watch a show, making some glass and different goblets and glass and vases. Yeah, you sit here and watch them make the glass. And this is garlands right here. If you want to get your fairy wings, they have them right here too. And little flower crowns that you can wear. But uh, yeah come here and get your fairy wings at garlands now this is son of sandlar right here get your custom boots yeah very nice they have other leather works here different tops very nice boots you got the best here too yeah you can get them custom made you also uh, can get them different colors different leather and also different soles that's pretty heavy duty right there but uh, they also have the ankle boots too so you can get the full boot all the way up to your knees just about or the ankle boots and there's the iron ladle kitchenware right over here and you also get more hats and this is retro vival here they've all kinds of different hats she looks great in her steampunk outfit you also have goggles too and pirate hats yeah you get your goggles let me show you that over here and here are your goggles to go with your hat the lovely store you have here so be on the lookout for little booths like this. This is like all kinds of tiaras and crowns right here. Very nice booth. Yeah, they're kind of scattered out too. A little independent vendors. You get the fairies over there too in the woods. We'll walk over there too in a little bit. Women's hearth right here. It's like doing kind of knitting as well. Right here. And more garb that you can buy for your costume. Yeah, if you want to add to it. And uh, this one, let's see what this one's called. Yeah, it's very nice. Unleash the goddess. Very nice. But it's a, yeah, it's male and female because I see the vest there too for steampunk. It goes way back in there too. So be sure to check them out. You see some of their wares out here in the front. I love the colors on that one. And they got a little bridge here. So yeah, there are uh, water features throughout the park, which I love. This is Spice Traders music right here. They've got all kinds of cool little instruments and drums. He's over here playing with this guy over here. <laughs> Love the sound of that. And you get a cool picture up here, right here, the Georgia Renaissance Festival. You do Conan the Barbarian and Red Sonia. In this tent here is Art of the Wood. I wanted to show you this wooden mug here. Look at the size of this thing right here. I think it's huge. 
that will hold a lot of alcohol yeah or the wood it's all handmade wood mugs also have the holders for your mugs too and they also do toilet chairs wow and this titania's garden of delight more costumes here yeah we little fairy wings up there that's cool and look at this outfit oh, i love that ready to go don't have to rock around and try to figure it out yeah you get everything all set to go here they've already color coordinated it you got the wings with it yeah look at all these other ones here love these and this is live dragons but check it out and they all have their names here too who you're talking to yeah check them out that's kevin right there hey kevin hey kevin hey pretty boy <laughs> he's all shy on me now Got the cocktail back there too and that's chloe i think everybody's having a good time checking them out and i love these macaws they're beautiful look at him it's ari and rocky i wonder if that's that might be rocky is that rocky yeah, that's, ari. That's, that's ari and rocky that's rocky there's rocky over there okay i had it mixed up but they're beautiful macaws and this is Carper Art. Look at this. Beautiful fountains here. Just love the artwork. Get little butterflies and dragonflies here. And there's your pricing right there of each one. Looks like they're handmade too. Walk over here and see the mermaid. Love this mermaid and this dragon. Check him out. You also get toadstools for 30 right here. Yeah, these are wonderful fountains all in here. Yeah, it's a great looking store. I love this. Look at the fish right there on the wood. That is so cool. Love that. Carper Art Sculpted Fountains. Beautiful store, too. And check out this dragon serpent right here. Lamp. Hey, how you doing? Good. How this are is you? beautiful up here. Thank you. That's 2700 Well worth it. That is beautiful. So they will have stages spread out throughout the park and this is gravity juggling acrobats here at the crown stage and there's your show times let me show you that stage nothing going on just yet because first show doesn't start until 11 30 so i think it's just after 11 now but this is their stage right here so yeah they're all spread out i'll try to get a shot of all the different stages throughout the park and they've got this lovely little pub here called the drunk bunk yeah, I love this, because over here you've got outside seating as well, and behind there you got the cakes. That's where the monks keep all their alcohol. Now remember too, the rides are separate, it's like $10 to ride the camel here in this little area. Hey baby, yeah, he's talking, <laughs> he's a pretty boy, yeah, he's a little guy, and here comes the, he, he's just moaning about something, but here they come here, riding the camel. Yeah, so the $10 for a ride, so just be sure to check them out and, uh, yeah, and ride these beautiful camels. And this is ribbons and rivets right here, too. All kinds of different armor. Look at this one over here. I like that. That was really nice. Looks like if they don't have your size and you want a certain top, they'll make them right here. I see them over there making them some stuff right here. So, yeah, they'll probably can size you up and you can have some really neat armor. And she's right here making some bracers. So yeah, if you want some custom bracers, she's right here putting them together. So yeah, check out ribbons and rivets. And we're walking up this hill, and there's just more food to choose from. Love this. I mean, there's just an array of different menus to choose from. Go up here and look at these real quick. This is Camelot Food Court. In this area, you're still part of the Drunk Monk, too. So they also have live music right there. But yeah. They have quesadillas, chicken pot pies, spinach pies, uh, sarsaparilla, ginger beer, peach cobbler, s'mores on a stick, fried ice cream, and it smells so good. And steak on a steak. 
wow, I mean, it's all fresh. I mean, I can smell the aroma of food right here. And this again is Camelot Food Court. And check this out, you walk over here. You can see much more of the park through here. And it's Viking and Barbarian weekend. So you see a lot of Vikings around. Yeah, I mean, I barely touch the surface of this park. And right underneath these trees, they have this beautiful little fairy village right here. Little statues, all kinds of details you got to look for when you see the fairy village. But the fairies are there, kind of blended in. A treasure chest sunken in the ground there. But yeah, a little waterfall over there too. Look at that. Yeah, I love this. Kind of spin around here. I still got a ways to go down that way. And we got a screaming pirate over here. And that's what I need to try it there. The fried mushrooms. I love mushrooms. You got meatballs on a stick, ribbon fries, more choices here. Look at all this. Just tons, tons. I keep on saying that, but there is. It's the most I've seen at a Ren Fair. At least, you know, on the East Coast anyway. <laughs> There's just tons of cool things to choose from. Yeah, and the funnel cakes too. And everybody's so nice here too. They love helping you out. But yeah, we're gonna head up this way. I also want to show you the seating areas too. Let me spin around here. Look at all this. Just all through the woods, right here. So it's so spread out, you're not gonna be crowded in one spot for food. And of course, right next to the food area, you're gonna have your privies right here. So we're heading up the hill here. Look at these stores. I love the storefronts. They're beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice. Another place over here called the Bourbon Chicken. Hey! <laughs> and uh, the Bourbon Chicken. Look at the dragon over the balcony right there. And there's Oakshire Oddities. My friend works here. My friend TJ's here. You may have seen him in past videos too. This is Oakshire Oddities. Yeah, come here and check all these beautiful statues out and jewelry. And I love his trolls here. But uh, yeah, one of my favorite stores in the park. And this is another friend. It's, it's TJ's other half. Her, it's the better half of TJ right there. Better half is a strong word. And this is AC5 chain mail. The all kinds of custom chain mail. I'm look on the wall here. How you doing? Doing great. Doing great. I'm gonna check out some of your chain mail. This, this, oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, look at those. I love the color schemes too. Look at these. Really nice. And uh, all custom made too. Look at this store. Oh, look at the Punisher one. That's 600 for that one. That's pretty cool. So you got like Wonder Woman themed, Iron Man themed, other superheroes themed chain mail. And then just plain old chain mail. And this is Crimson chain and leather works right here they have beautiful work in there too they seem kind of busy so i didn't want to go in there and disturb them but yeah you can get an idea here on their displays check out this top isn't that nice i love the shoulder pauldron there too in the bag look at this little get up that's really nice there love that all types of different colors probably this kind of robin hood look to it that one's 600 for him and you also get goblets. So you get accessories here too that you can go with your costume, hang on your belt. Yeah, just an assortment of beautiful leather work. Love that tunic right there too. That one's a thousand. Any of the wild steel king craft right here. And the next door, you got visions readings. So you get your readings here tarot, palmistry, stuff like that. Very mysterious little area. Very nice. And up here, we've got the. Uh, mythical genetics right here not quite sure what they do but it looks like they have a uh, knitted dragons and stuff in there too Little plushy dragons and different mystical animals that you can get like unicorns then more costuming this is the mad hatter here too all kinds of hats and that's what get skirts too I love their little sign there the jester hat really nice and then here you got the chocolate and fudge place right here. It's really nice. Also got the they got nuts here too. 
brittle boiled peanuts very nice and then over here you got this beautiful stage let's see what uh, we got going on right now and this is the famous peacock tea room they are always packed it's, it's, it goes way back there too but they're slammed they have takeout too but this restaurant is the the restaurant to come to in Newcastle. Yeah, Peacock Tea Room. And there's a waiting list too. You gotta get here early to experience their restaurant. But yeah, there's a line right there to get in. But really nice restaurant. So I'm only here for one day, so don't get after me if I don't see everything. There's a lot to do here. Yeah, you can come out and enjoy this uh, beautiful Renaissance Festival here in Georgia in Newcastle. More jewelry here at the Metal Mistress. Yeah, that's a nice little store there. Then over here, and like I said, a lot of these are extra. So you have the star throwing here, you get the knife throwing, and you get the axe throwing. It's $5 per game. And over here, more privies. And then right here, you get the vegetable justice too. Yeah, he'll insult you, and you can throw a tomato at him and smack him in the head. It's $5 for five, $10 for a dozen. And they have some really nice leather here at Griffin Leathersmiths. Yeah, really nice store. Beautiful work. Love this belt here with the runes carved into it. Really nice. Good morning, my friend. Welcome. Hey. Yeah, really nice leather work here. Be sure to check them out. Griffin Leathersmiths. And here are your dragon pets here, too. Got different colors and different shapes. Yeah, got small wings, medium sized wings, and large wings down here. You wrap them around your hand, your wrist, make them a cool little pet. But yeah, dragon pets. And then here you can get your kids together and do a cool little uh, band of adventurers all together right here. I love that. That's really nice. And there's your ATM. So, like I said, they're spread out. So, if you need cash, they do have ATMs all throughout the park. Here's some more food vendors down here. I gotta show you where they do the jousting too. It's right down this way. And like what I was saying earlier too, they have the little stand-up areas where you can uh, eat your food and set your drink down. And that's pretty nice. They was they can spread out quite a bit and uh, take up less space, and you'll still have a place to sit down or not stand and eat and drink. And another eating area. This is the King's Food Court right here. It's top the hill of where all the jousting happens, right down here where the games are. See people sitting down there. I love how they have this setup because you can sit up here and get your food and eat and then also watch the game from way up here on top of the hill. I love just the way they have this all set up. And I love this eating area here too. This is really nice. Little benches with the umbrellas. Very nice. And I love this wood carving here. It's the king having a feast with his knights and the old squire there serving everybody. That's pretty cool. And the dog is right there ready to get some leftovers. I really like this store. It's Twisted Treasures Emporium and Oddity Shop. Check it out. All the different skulls and bones and fur. I'm going to go in there and take a look. And look at all the furs. These are great for like Viking costumes, barbarians, really any costume. And all this wonderful leather work. Check these bones out here. Those are wild. And I love these earrings here. And check out that vertebrae. That's pretty cool. And this is Wiley woven wire here. And uh, it's got like different stones for necklaces all wired in there. They do earrings too. And they have little rings, stuff for piercing as well. So yeah, this is the uh, Wiley woven wire. Now this is Frederick's Forge. Yeah, it's all foam swords, but they look so real too. They have axes too and maces, morning stars, shields, all made from foam.
this is Kingdom of Arms here. These are real. This is the real deal in here. Yeah, it's all real blades and axes, all different styles. They also have daggers too in the center. Really nice sword store. And this is the Tavern on the Hill right here. Yeah, you get all kinds of wine and uh, beer, things like that. It's nice. It's sitting on top of the hill, too. You can overlook everything. They also have live music they'll play here, too, on that little stage. And then right across from it, over here, show going on over there. But uh, they have the Ghosts of the Abyss right here. It says, Stories Haunted House. It's $5 to go in. And this is the Washing Well Winches show. Really nice stage, too. They're, they're performing right now. And where the Washing Well winches perform is at the Garden Cottage stage right here. <laughs> and this is the roguish Highlander here. And they get uh, your kilts and your accoutrements here. And also they have discounts for the military. Uh, members as well, so that's pretty neat. But yeah, you can find your family tartan, your colors here for your kilt and uh, sporins, things like that. So be sure to visit the Ruggish Highlander. And I love just these little quaint little places where you can get some food right here. Yeah, very nice. Kind of pan around here so you can see this area. We're kind of in the back now of the uh, Renaissance Festival. I'm gonna head back down this way. I've been down there with so many clothing places it's crazy which is great because they have a great selection on each one but yeah slowly making our way back so i picked up some drunken mushrooms and also lavender lemonade and the mushrooms are cooked in like white wine yummy these mushrooms are amazing yeah i'm enjoying some live music too right over here also want to show you this dragon that you guys can ride yeah he's pretty cool he's waiting for people to get on his dragon and this is imaginarium galleries right here yeah these are where the dravits are and the dragons you may have seen them in my videos before but they're right here you walk in there they have a real nice store in here just an array of different ones look at this nice yeah i love these dragons and dravits yeah, these are nice. Look at these guys. Love them. A lot to choose from. And check this guy out. I'm not sure what to make of him, but he looks pretty cool. And I do want to check out the rent boots here with exquisite footwear throughout the ages. So you have all kinds of different type of footwear that you can choose from. Yeah, we'll go in here and check this out. And I love the, how they have the boots up there on the ceiling. Check that out. And also the pirate boots, quarter boots. Look at all this. A lot to choose from. Yeah, I don't smell that leather. It smells great. They also have uh, leather hats and sporins in here too. So I just talked to the artist. We miss this guy, Casting uh, Bronze. He does a fantastic show. We're gonna see this real quick and uh, get him on video. But here's his uh, QR code if you wanna scan that and uh, see his other videos online.
Well, you've heard of the Danny Boy pipes. Well, here is the Danny Boy cigars. Yeah, might have to pick up a couple. And they do have the Danny Boy pipes right next door to the cigars. And they do have a hookah place here or two. You can go inside and smoke your hookah. It's called the Southern Sands Hookah. Really cool place. Yeah, go around here and check it out. Yeah, you get parties here. You set up an event and enjoy your hookah. And your beer as well. Now they have this wonderful pirate shop here too. It's like the back of a ship. And check out the crow's nest up there and the cannons. But also to let you know too, the pirate shop is also owned by the same people who own Southern Sa uh, Sands Hookah. And he does a lot of work for the disabled veterans too. They do a lot of charity work, and at the they've raised like over $140,000 for the veterans, which is awesome, disabled veterans. And they also have a, uh, a giveaway, too, of a sword. I don't think I'll be here for that, but that's great. Just a lot of charity work, which is fantastic. So here's the inside of the pirate shop. You got swords and daggers in here as well. And I wanted to show you this over here. So you got a nice selection for your pirate outfit. And if you also collect daggers and let me show you the other side too and this is the other part of the store here where they have the they also have uh, flintlocks in here tons of different swords baldrics are right here for your sword yeah look at all this all kinds of cool pirate stuff and the flintlocks are over here blunderbusses yeah he's got a great selection of flintlocks right here check out this wow you don't want to be on the tail end of that that's for sure but they're very busy in here too Walk down here and uh, see more of the fair it is busy now it's really picked up big time all the food courts are real busy and I like this hill you sit up here and watch the tournament and the jousting so looks like they're having a tourney over here hand-to-hand -hand combat walk down there and check that out And if you misbehave in Newcastle, you can end up in the village stocks.
to the road. So my feather has been every place. Wind's been picking up, but I've had a great time here at the Georgia Renaissance Festival in Newcastle. Great town, fantastic. Lots to see. I'm sorry I couldn't get it all in. There is so much to do here. I hope you enjoyed the video, but hopefully we'll be back. Maybe we will, so we'll see for sure. But I do encourage everybody to come here and see this wonderful festival and enjoy all the arts, crafts, the food, the artisans. Yeah, they're fantastic. Everybody's super nice, so yeah. We'll see you soon. You take care. Bye-bye.